For making shapes with a form, such as with this form block here, where we, we trap a piece of metal between two, two corresponding blocks of hardwood and then form it over. The logical tool would be to use a mallet to drive the metal over after you have it securely clamped in the form block. And this is conventional wisdom. There's nothing wrong with this. You can use a variety of different mallets to knock this stuff over. When you're working metal into a form, like to make this wingtip, this wingtip, which is originally fiberglass, was duplicated out of aluminum and duplicated fairly rapidly with the use of a, a hollow form. And of course, the metal has now been trimmed, but originally the metal was laid in and it was clamped around this edge here with a series of clamps. And after the piece was formed into this contour, then we trim this edge off, pair up the two pieces, and then weld them together right on that, that trimmed edge. And that's called flange welding. We weld them together. But again, what you would be, what you would be doing with the flat sheet is again working it in around the edge with the mallets and down inside the sheet and then back into this edge, maybe with a caulking tool and driving a tool in back here. But there's a better way to do it. If you're in the aircraft work, you probably already have a rivet gun. And a nice three or four X gun might be just what the doctor ordered because certainly it's gonna save on your, body, on your tender body parts like your wrist and elbow. Now I've got some still images I'll show you, but briefly let me show you. We have a short flow forming tool, which fits in the fits in the rivet gun. There. And the, the inserts inside the tool are replaceable, depending on the hardness of the insert that you need. We have a variety of these inserts and they go from, from soft to hard to harder and harder and hardest. And they will work stainless steel or steel as well as your heat treated or even soft aluminums that you would then heat treat afterward. So the trick would be to apply the flow form tool, then the insert. And if you have a long barrel on your gun, you can hang on to the barrel of the gun and simply flow the metal down. Now the ends, these can be contoured with a sander or a grinder, any particular shape you want, even a chisel shape can be brought out on the end of these noses. But then you would just simply work around and the still pictures will show you this. If you don't have a long barreled rivet gun, we have a long barreled flow form insert. So that you're able to hang on to the flow form tool itself. And again, with the insert installed, you can hang on to the tool and go around it if you have a short gun. And you can make a variety of contours and shape the parts very rapidly. This is called flow forming.